Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Two and a Half Cents Podcast. And I'm being joined by Bradley, aka Sergeant. Yo. As well as Chris, aka CGM. What's up? As well as our featured guest for the week, Josh is cool, aka Joshy. What's up? How's it going, my man? I'm good. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Joshi is a longtime uh, supporter of mine on YouTube. Um, how, how'd you even, I mean, I mean, he's a mod now and he's got like, he's highly decorated, if you will, on the, on the uh, double R channel. But for the record, how did you uh, come to, you know, discover my channel? So I actually met you through Great One DeVore. Oh, that's and right. We had him on the podcast last week. Yeah, me and him were playing a game of Madden, and you were also in the party. And I don't know, you said something about streaming, so I just checked it out, and now we're here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, we were because I asked him the same question last week, and he's he pretty much said the same thing. So, yep. pretty cool. So yep. uh, we we're about ten days out, and you know, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Josh, like myself, and Sarge. And I think Chris, I'm not sure, Chris doesn't really play good games, but um, <laughs> like the majority of us, Josh is a Madden gamer. So with us being about nine days away from the early launch of Madden, how are you feeling? I think it's going to be good. People like to, so far what I've seen, bash Madden 20 and half of them haven't even been beta. And no one's really seen gameplay yet, so... I feel like I have to play it now because all the players are mad because their overalls got lowered. <laughs> yeah, and from what I understand, they're doing the rating system a lot differently this year. Um, and I feel like they see that every single year. But it kind of makes sense. I mean, you see how effective the pass rush is. And you know what? I will say that's one of my main like points of emphasis is I hope that they didn't mess around with the pass rush because having played the early uh, the beta – for Madden 20, the pass rush felt as realistic as probably any football game I've ever played. It just seemed true to life, like what it should be. Yep. Uh, so I'm hoping they didn't nerf that. And I'm sure that there's going to be plenty of things that have been added and removed uh, from that beta we played a couple of months ago. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty excited to play. I know, Sarge, are you going to be doing any kind of like uh, um, franchise mode gameplay this year? I might. I mean, I'm, I plan on streaming some of it, especially since. Uh, well, I mean, if I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been assured that I could, that I'll get it, but. You know. There's so many things I want to try with Madden this year. Like for sure, I yeah. want to do tournaments. I want to do like monthly, if not every, like bi-weekly, um, tournaments. Which, by the way, if you're a channel sponsor, shameless plug, you enter for free. Um, so I want to do plenty Are you of tournaments. Do them on the PS4. No. No one owns a PS4. No one Chris. owns a PS4. PS4 is garbage. Yes, they do. PS4 is the in superior console. So, you so just, what? So you just say F you to me when I pay you every month. We Thank we you. say that a lot, Chris. Yeah, yeah, you could, I, I you could just you could take that money that you're giving to Raven and buy an Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Uh, or you can trade in your crappy so, system and get a good system. So I was thinking, sixty that would take five years. I was thinking. So in addition to doing biweekly or monthly tournaments, I want to do a franchise mode, and, and I really think it would be awesome. Ideally, it yeah. would be awesome for Chris to be on Xbox too. That way, he can represent the uh, the Redskins. But how cool would it be if we were all in one franchise? You know, I know it's it can be kind of a headache when you have unwilling people. But I think all of us have the yeah. same energy. Uh, I, I can see Sarge managing the Steelers. I can definitely see Josh managing his favorite team, the Miami Dolphins. Um, I, I think it'd be really cool for us, something for us all to get involved in. And who knows, yeah, maybe be there'd be a it. maybe there'd be a prize for someone who whoever wins a Super Bowl. Um, I don't care about the prize. Yeah, I know you don't, but I, I think it adds incentive um, right. to the game. I mean, I'm, I'm a I'm a huge fantasy football guy. And I, I have been in leagues now for about ten years. I've been in free leagues. I've been in leagues where you have to pay for them. And I will say that it's 
the free leagues that I no longer go after. If you invite me to a fantasy football league and I find out it's free to enter, I'm instantly no longer interested. Why? Because all it takes is for that one guy or that one team to to have a record that's like 10 games under 500. At that point, they quit. They stop monitoring their, their team. And at that point, whoever does play them gets a free win, essentially. Bro, we should do that. We should have... Yeah, uh... they do that. They do that you with know, the I... Lions, too, though, to be No, to be they... Sure, they do. They do, but you don't. It's not as frequent. You know why? Because they have skin in the game. Even if you're p- pitching in twenty, forty bucks, yeah, it ain't but, a lot. But you but have skin in the game. But if you're one in six in fantasy, and what's it go ten weeks or one in five, one in six in fantasy, you know you're done. So you know the twenty dollar bill's been burned. So you're like, what the hell? I mean. Well, I mean, there's prizes I mean, for first, second, and third, and usually in fantasy football. But you know what I'm saying? So, if you give people no, I get it, skin yeah. in the game, they're gonna stay in. Yeah, they're not gonna. Exactly. So, so here's my thing: if if you're gonna run a fantasy football league for like your sponsors and members and stuff like that, how do you how do you manage who has to pay and who doesn't? Well, you I mean, said you're gonna let certain people not get not have to pay, right? So as far as um, – so YouTube recently allo- uh, launched the tier service for uh, stream – or not for stream, but for YouTube memberships. Um, so now I've, I've – in addition to having been able to lower the price from $5 to $199, i am also able to raise the price for higher tier packages. So if you have the higher tier package, um, you're automatically entered in um, – to join the the, uh, the fantasy league, but you know it's if, to answer your question, it's quite easy to keep track of everyone who's entering and who's paid and who's not because it's small. We're dealing with a small sample size. Uh, for instance, we're only running fourteen teams for the for the league I'm in right now. So yeah, but it's PPR. What is your what is your big qualm Chris, with PPR? Because you throw you throw a. a the screen pass for a negative yard and you get a point. That's my quality PPR. Well, you get the point for the catch. Yeah, but he lost a yard. It's a bad play. Okay, but why, it, it doesn't go down as yards. an incompletion for the quarterback. But he loses three yards and you get a point for... Right, but you're missing my point. Ball. Is it, at the end of the day, is it still not a completion? It is, but... Thank you. You you don't get you don't get the point. The way I've always played is for quarterbacks, you get points for yards for the quarterbacks. That's the way I've always done it too. Yeah, you get points so, for yards, points for so, touchdown. So if the quarterback throws, you lose points you know, for if the quarterback fumbles. For, uh, oh, thirty for fifty, you don't get thirty points for well, that. Well, in my league, you 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 do lose yards, points. You, you do lose points for interceptions and things like that. No, you do. Yeah, in every league I played, you lose for. Fumbles, interceptions, yeah. things like that. Right. But my my qualm of PPR is a a you get the dink doink passes like the screens that go for negative yards and that counts positively and I don't think that should be happen. You are literally you being upset a, at something that happens maybe at most two or three times a game. I remember, have, Chris is Chris is the guy who gets upset at the wrong color grass on Madden. Let's be <laughs> honest. Let's be flop, honest, Chris. Think time. think logically here for a second. How many times in one game does what you just said happen? A quarterback throwing for a, um, a I loss of yards. I think the receiver should only get points for yards, just like quarterbacks only get points for yards and touchdowns. So. You have to. That's, that's you also have right. to take into consideration what team Chris likes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. He's extremely biased. I wouldn't talk, Josh. The Dolphins aren't yeah. much better. I mean, no, they're worse. I, I, if we lose anyway, to the Dolphins, I'll, this I'll... this is an open invitation, and this is for like serious people only. We're not talking about fantasy. If you want to join, DM me on the on something separate. But what this is about is. Um, Madden franchise yeah, mode. Franchise. Yeah. I want to get oh, as many people as seriously interested in, to be involved. I, I, by I the way, I, I, I just wanted to point out a little bit of karma came back around to Double R this week. 
about a month ago, he when op- when closed beta, excuse me, was going on for Madden, I had my DMs closed on Twitter, and he tried to get people <laughs> to DM me for codes. Oh, yeah, Bam. Crystal has and codes. That, though, yesterday, so. he tweets, shout out to the people who still want beta codes from me. So <laughs> what goes around comes around, and it kind of bit you. So I just wanted to point that out for our <laughs> listeners here. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe people are that dumb that they still... Think are, the beta's even going on? The game it comes out in 10 days, and they still think that the, the closed beta is still going on. So shout out to those uh, numb nuts. Yeah, but, like, I remember the last time we did a Madden franchise. I think it was Madden 16 or 17. Yeah. But um, it just it, it went to shreds. The first two or three weeks, you know, everybody was active doing it, wanting to sim, playing their games. But then mm-hmm. after that... They it just starts to die and then it's like slowly just right. So here's and I mentioned it kind of earlier in the podcast when I first yeah. talked about the franchise mode. At some point, it starts feeling like I'm a babysitter because, yeah. like you said, people stop getting interested. It's week One eight or yeah. week seven. No, not even that they lose. They have winning teams and they just don't want to play anymore. Yeah. You know, it's set week seven or week eight. And we're in this full swing of the season, and I have to constantly go on DM Twitter people. and yep. DM people like, hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but can you please play your game? You got the whole league waiting on you to complete your game, right. and I don't want to sim it. I hate – that's my pet peeve is if you're going to yeah. be in my in my franchise, I hate having to sim your game because yep. that's not fair to, to that person who wanted to be in the league and wasn't able to get in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I agree, but I mean, sometimes people have things that come up. That, I agree. Uh, but like, even when people have something to come up, I'll DM him, just say, "Hey, I'm not gonna be able to play my game." But there are people that'll just not do it and then be unresponsive on if they can or can't play the game. Exactly. Oh yeah, and that's crappy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking about people who. A large majority of people are like, hey, man, I got this going on. Just a heads up. Yeah. Um, either they'll be like, if you can wait on me a couple days, great. If not, go ahead and simulate to the next week so everyone's not waiting on me. That's fine. Yeah. But when but I have to know- sit there and send you multiple DMs and without any kind of answer, like, hey, are you still there? If I have to ask you, are you still interested in playing in this league? That's not cool. Well, you know, what? do you know the remedy for that? Is if somebody, if you have to sim for them more than once without them contacting you with, uh, you know, valid reasons and we don't have to get into all that, yeah. then they're ineligible for the next tournament. Well, we've That's done that. A simple way to combat that. We've done that. Um, they're ineligible for what, the next tournament. Uh, another two. thing I've done too is like, hey, this person's been inactive for like the last two or, two or three weeks. I will go ahead and I won't even tell them. I'll, I'll just, if I see that you're inactive for a few weeks in a row, I'll go ahead and then drop you uh, from right. the franchise and I'll find someone on Twitter. It's not hard to do. I'll find someone on Twitter and be like, hey, uh, the Titans, the Tennessee Titans are now available. Does anyone want to take over? Yeah. You know, I promise you I get that slot filled that same day. Yeah. So. Yeah. It is a little... It's a little unfair if that person wins, though, especially because they're forced they... win. You can force win or force lose. Yeah, that's that's my biggest pet peeve is when people send me a yeah. message. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Just go ahead and simulate. Like, okay, all right, that's fine. And my main goal uh, is always to have fun, but I also have right. like another goal with this whole franchise thing is to build each other up. Yeah. Um, I've had I like fun. I've had nothing but success with uh, doing the co-streams with Sarge. I think it'd be really cool since he's going to be the Steelers, I'm going to be the Ravens. You know we're playing us ourselves you know, at least twice. Um, mm-hmm. So it would oh, be yeah, well, cool to build to the storyline and you know, have Coach Double R versus Coach uh, Sarge. You know, who's got the competitive edge this week? And just to build a storyline. Um, well, yeah. I want to have something like that because I think it builds community. And it, it right. makes people more interested in future ones. Um, right, yeah. And who knows if it's a success? Who's who's to say we only do one year of it? You know, right. we could yeah. sit there and literally have season upon season until the next Madden comes out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as and long as it stays fun, that's great. As long as it stays fun and keeps people I, um, involved, yes. 
and you can always getting... do a second one or a third one if if it hits in, you know, for, and you run out of seasons because it's a year. I mean, exactly. You know? If you could, if if people start getting upset and flipping out every time they lose, that's what that's what irritates me because. I don't, I don't want to play against somebody who gets sore when they lose. I don't I don't like it when so, I yeah, do. So you've run happens. into problems with franchise mode too then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And That's why I, I don't I have to clarify. When I say problems with franchise mode, I don't mean with the game. I'm talking about the user. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, people complain that it lagged or, or that the game cheated them or... That should have been pass interference. And I'm just saying that's why I record my games or stream my games for those. And you can't if you win, it's not you winning. It's the computer cost Joe Blow your opponent the uh, yeah. loss. You know, and I think this year is going to be an even playing field for everybody. Yeah, I've been playing right. Madden for the better part of the last pretty much twenty years. And this is the first time ever where I've started a game and had the feeling like, oh my God, I have no idea how to play this game. Like, it, yeah. it just feels that different this year. Um, your life absolutely feels like it's in danger every time you snap the ball because that pass rush is coming at you. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, so your life is in peril essentially after every snap. And I've never felt that way in previous Maddens. I've always felt right. kind of comfortable in the pocket doesn't matter if I have, you know, Mike Vick or Tom Brady, you know, you know, without any kind of real variance, your offensive line is going to protect you, but not the case the this year. Thing, all the things they've changed with this game the, that I've heard of anyway, the one thing that I'm most happy about is that when the quarterback runs back 15 yards, he, he can't throw the ball plus 60. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it's a great from, change. Yeah. That's a great change. And, and my, from what I've, played in the beta um it feels like it's more realistic but since the past games haven't been as realistic it just feels different you know as long as you can run the last game was running was terrible oh, my, running is it's great in madden 20 i mean even in the beta last year i thought i thought the running was garbage sarge did you uh have you played madden 07 the one with uh sean and alexander on the cover yeah i've played just a I've played, I've played just about all of them since, like, 93. The way this game runs, Madden 20, I would say it closely resembles the running um, mechanics of Madden 07, which I will say is a huge improvement to anything we've had recently. Yeah. Um, it feels, like, it feels genuine. It feels um, authentic to the game. You know, you mean, you've, you've, you've played against me before. You know how often I like to run the ball. I know. I like I like to make it so that it's like it's like a real game where right. you have to mix up the run and the pass. Well, yeah, you're old and, school like me like, with the mentality. Like the last the last two of them, if you're running the ball, you're gonna lose. Yeah, most likely. And you know, especially you if, especially if you're like me and you have that old school mentality that you have to run to set up the pass. You know, that's uh, yep. this is the Madden for you. That's what that's what my high school coach used to say all the time. You got to run to set up the pass. You got to pass set up the run. That's it. You got to keep that defense yeah, honest. If you go right. pass, pass, pass all day, keeps the defense playing on their heels. You know, um, you're it, just happy honest. that you have a running back quarterback. So that... <laughs> here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. you're just gonna call option crap all the time and roll out and scramble for ten yards every play. Yeah. I don't think uh, you guys are mutt guys, so no, I don't know. No, I, no, I, I'm no, not going to get into mutt. Um, yeah, all right. I've seen, you know, a lot of people waste their money with in-game transactions. And you know what? Oh, yeah. it's, it's only good for a year. You know, there's yeah. people to this day. To, we're recording July 15th. There's people to this day selling mutt cards for Madden 19. Like, I don't know what kind of genetic disorder you have to, to for that to be appealing to you but really you're going to shell out serious like cold hard cash for something that's yep. not going to be of any use in a week and a half makes no yeah, sense to me at all yeah that's true i mean i enjoy playing mud i don't spend that much money on a game like so today on it, but 
So they'll take the MUT servers down for 19 as soon as uh, 20 comes down? They don't take the servers down. No, they don't take the servers down. There's just no point, in my opinion. Yeah. If, like, I don't get why. Because I was going to say, I didn't think they did. So I guess like, those, and maybe there's people who only buy the game. Every here's the thing. Right? It does That's it, the way I used At to that it. point, it's when Madden it. 20 is out, does it matter if they take the servers offline? Right? Yeah, because like, some, some still people paying? still play the previous game. Some, some people yeah. don't. Not everybody buy. buys the same. Not everybody buys people, the, the new game every year. And you know, some people probably will pay Madden twenty till, or excuse me, Madden nineteen till Black Friday or Christmas because they just don't have sixty dollars to shell out. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So you know that. So they're probably thinking, okay, I have another five months. I'm playing four or five months. I'm playing this. I'll buy. What I find comical is they don't have the sixty dollars to spend on the new game, but then they buy, you know, the game card. Yeah. yeah, but then you know they wind up eating ramen noodles for dinner three nights because you know they spent sixty dollars to get Tom Brady. Hey, Bro, ramen noodles have gotten you, me through some hard times. You can only serve one master at a time. Well, I and I'm not knocking anybody who's eating ramen noodles. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that when you choose to buy a Tom Brady card over going to the grocery store, I mean, <laughs> bro, have you ever had real ramen? Not like top ramen, but like actual Japanese ramen. I oh, have. It's, well, it's delicious. It's yeah. So good. I have. Yeah. So good. I like it spicy though. When it's spicy, it's amazing. Yeah, well, Chris, you like sriracha too. So. <laughs> well, I like sriracha. Awesome. What's wrong with sriracha? I uh, I'm not a big fan. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm with yeah. you on that one, Josh. I'm not a big fan of sriracha. I like I like spicy food. So do I, but I, I don't do know. too. I just don't really like. Sriracha. I don't like it where I need a drink every bite, but I like it to have a punch. I'd... Like I'm to the point with sriracha. Like if I come over to your place as an invited <laughs> guest and I find that in your and fridge, it it's gonna go in the I'm trash. Yeah. So you're like, gonna go in my fridge. I'm gonna go. My Here's the thing. Garage Here's what you have to understand about me. And I, I know I sound like mole there. Here's, Here's what, what you, have you gotta to understand. understand about Raven. You know, voice inflection. Um, I'm the type. I'm the type. I'm very nosy. I've, as a kid, been that kid to opened remote controls and game consoles to see how exactly they work. Much right. in the same way, if you invite me to your house. <laughs> It's almost a guarantee I'm going to look through your medicine cabinet because I want to know how you work. <laughs> look through I'll, my medicine cabinet. I'll, you might you might find I'll, some I'll, shotgun shells in I want to know what makes you rock. work. You know, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> you open you my medicine be, cabinet, it might be booby trap. I guarantee you, you won't be going in my bathroom. Well, I, I mean, that's just it. That's just it. I'm telling you, that's... That's kind of how I'm wired. I'm, I, I, I like to know what makes people... <laughs> Raven tick. goes over to a friend's house, goes in the bathroom with a black light. <laughs> and then they find their, their sriracha sauce in the trash bin. <laughs> That's not sriracha sauce, sir. Brand new, unopened. <laughs> I, guarantee you, I guarantee you Double R would go on like a friend's computer and if it would... Look at their internet history. And, yeah, and go in their internet history and be like, I wonder... What do you mean what? he works for the FBI? Okay. Let's... Want. let's Let's pretend that we don't enjoy reading other people's text messages. So, so on with the whole things I'm going to be doing with Madden, I'm I'm going to stream some Madden, mm-hmm. but I don't want that to take over my channel. Right, you don't want to be. So I'm not going to do it all the time. I'm not even going to make it a weekly thing. It's just going to be whenever I feel like streaming it. Yeah. Or right. if I'm in a franchise, like you said, because uh, like I I talk, I listen to Purple Swordfish all the time talk about how he. He got sucked into streaming nothing but Madden, and then when he streams something that's not Madden, he gets nothing for it. You know, yeah. Right. And he bitches and complains about how he's forced to play this game on streams. I mean, well, let's, let's, you're not so, forced to do anything. You can do whatever you want. You don't right. have to get involved. Yeah. But people like to I get, people like to pigeonhole and categorize you in a certain way. Uh, like shout out to Bunty King on uh, Twitter. He recently posted something like hey send me like a screenshot of like your recent videos and i'll tell you if you're a game or like a real gamer or not and i sent him a video and like when was my last madden live stream in february or something or in march and he's like plays too many sports games not a real gamer like 
they just look at your name and your your history. So I'm known for playing sports games, apparently. So that's my niche. That's the category that people categorize me in. And I agree with yeah. you. I, I, you know, you shouldn't have to. I like to be a variety streamer and play anything I care to do. You guys know I've been, I've played everything from action games to freaking card games. Uno. Bro, yeah. let's yeah. be real. You play Madden and Rocket League and then you splash in a little bit of everything else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, but is, is Rocket League considered a sports game? Yes, it's soccer with cars, nah, but it's soccer. That's a bit of a stretch. It's a sports game. But it's I, basically I totally, soccer with cars. Getting back to your original point, I totally agree and understand why why it is you think that way. Because um, right. I, I guarantee you, once the Doom comes out later on this year, which I can't oh, wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're that's in November. Gonna and be, be that's going to be all that. I stream from like November <laughs> until November. <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously going to be streaming that, so it it would be nice right. to get you some views on that, you know. Yeah, I mean, I stream a little bit of everything though. Like, if you look at my streams, I got everything from Star Wars to Magic oh, to you play some games I don't even know the rules for. I just watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Magic uh -huh. the Gathering. I see a bunch of cards moving, but I can I do I know what's going on? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been playing Magic since. I oh, I know. It's an old school game. A little. But, um, yeah, the only thing is, I, the thing that, like, I have to find something to keep me going for streaming. Right. Because right now, my average stream, I might get two people watching at the same time. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe one person in the chat talking. I mean, I usually and, work the streams because we'll be in, like, voice chat together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. And, and you were actually considering uh, quitting streaming. Yeah. I, I was, I was, oh, I wasn't gonna quit. I was gonna slow it down to like once a week because I wasn't getting any traction. Right. But uh, Critical Kill actually reached out to me today on Twitter and asked mm -hmm. me when my next stream was. I was like, I don't know when I get my my splitter for my PS3. Yeah. Because you can't stream from PS3 through eight the Elgato HD60. Yeah. Really? So you have to have. You yeah. Have... It, it's it's encrypted. Oh. So it has to That's... go into a splitter, and then from the splitter to the H to the HD sixty, and the other side of the splitter has to go to the computer. That sounds rather the dumb. dumb. Is PS four that way? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I, I think know PS three is. I think it's I think the it's, older it's, console. Yeah, like, um, I think Xbox it's just the PS three. PS three. So I told him I was like, when I get my splitter, I'm going to be streaming, you know, a PS one game that I've been wanting to play, and I talked to a couple people. I was I was I was at a toss up between two different games, a PS two game and a PS one game. The PS2 game was a Castlevania game, mm -hmm. and I was—I actually re I reached out to Narcost and Purple Swordfish, and both of them said to do the same thing. Yeah. So the Castlevania game was Curse of Darkness. I'm not going to say what the PS1 game was. It'll be on my next stream. When, okay, well, yeah. Probably not my next stream, but it'll be on the stream I do after I get my splitter. splitter. Yep. Awesome. It's a very old game. <laughs> now, did you pick up a PS3 just for this, or did you always have one? No, I had a PS3. Okay. I got I had my PS3 when I got back when I got back when I was in Iraq mm -hmm. when it first came out and I ended up spending like nine hundred dollars on it total. Oh my god! Wow. Between the system shipping and I got an insurance policy on it because I was shipping it to Iraq. Oh yeah, that's probably a good move. And uh, when I got back to the states and I, I moved in with my my then girlfriend now wife. Mm -hmm. Shout out I was to Emily. Lurk, I was lurking on eBay and I saw an Xbox 360 for thirty dollars out of the box oh. like fresh in the box somebody was getting rid of it because they were going to college they didn't want to yeah. keep it around so a console for 30 bucks uh yeah. xbox 360 elite with two controllers two headsets and four okay, games so it was definitely stolen but you got a great deal on it <laughs> <laughs> well i don't care i got it it's i bought it legally <laughs> but uh so i got it and i've been on xbox i've been on the xbox train since like I won't get another PlayStation unless they come out with something amazing. Right. And I haven't that, seen it. That's the one thing I do uh, have to say, though, is PS4 does seem to have better exclusive titles. But, like, I have a, Wii, I have a, I have a Switch. You know why? Because Switch was way less than the PlayStation was. Mm -hmm. So I, I got an Xbox One, a Switch, and I got a PS3. You know, so When I got my Switch, I mean, I got it pretty close to when it came out pretty early on but um it was expensive like i got the switch 
Super Smash Bros. was the only game, and an insurance policy, and it was over four hundred dollars. I got my Switch for like twenty five bucks from GameStop guys... after trading in my 3DS and a bunch of games. Yeah. You gotta say insurance policy, but does that like cover against everything, like acts of God? No, and mine, all that? mine was a legit insurance policy. I took out a renter's insurance policy <laughs> on my <laughs> PS3 when I bought it. I just bought the um, I just bought the year warranty at GameStop on my PS4. Right, and yeah, basi- that's... and basically, like anything that happens to it is covered, and I just take it in. And I think I think the only catch is is you have to buy a new warranty, but it's like sixty. I think it's fifty bucks or something. Yeah, forty to fifty bucks. But you figure fifty bucks or three hundred bucks for a new one, hmm. right? Yeah. So it's kind of like paying like a deductible, right? Okay. But how many it's people like- is that? how do how do you how do you how do you send in a warranty claim for a PlayStation for Three that's rack. been shot? <laughs> Well, literally, literally shot, not just shot, but shot with a bullet. I take it to, well, I'm sure your warranty's <laughs> over by now, but I would have taken it into the store. Bro, this PlayStation I got, since it's like one of the first models and it's backwards compatible. Right. People are still selling these on eBay for like 300 bucks. Wait, what? Yeah, because speedrunners use it because it has all these nifty little ports on there that let them use their speedrunning tools. <laughs> Oh, and the newer versions of the PlayStation Three don't have those, so these are sought-after systems. Interesting. Yeah, I see. I see them going for like three hundred so bucks. On I take eBay it what you have is like a generation one of the generation one yep. build. Okay. It's the big wedge-looking one. <laughs> oh, that's right. I do <laughs> remember flip that. Flip cover. Yeah. And like seven USB ports and. Yeah. Whoa. That thing looks like yeah. a. When I first saw it, I remember when they were first playing the commercials for the uh, PS3, specifically the one you have. I'm like, that looks like a downtown skyscraper. Yep. <laughs> My um, uh... One of the main reasons I didn't buy the PS4 and I bought the Xbox One was because the PS4 wasn't backwards compatible. The last system I bought from PlayStation, I only got because I could play all my old games on it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So... Thanks to Critical Kill for Yeah, shout out to Critical Kill. Giving me a, a reason to keep streaming like I do. You know what's funny? And it, you know, like so. I was playing some Halo two and Halo C E yesterday. Yeah. And uh it kind of took me back to the days like wow, we're so many years removed from this game and brought me back to, you know, me and my friends going to the midnight launch and waiting in line for an hour at eleven yeah. PM until midnight and then you gotta wait another thirty minutes for the line to subside. Yeah. And now everything is digital. Right. It, I, I I mean how amazing is it that we no longer have to do stuff like that anymore. And we can just get games instantly. Yeah, can you believe so, people still buy games on disc? <laughs> people so still you, do that. You wanna you wanna hear a decent Halo story? Go ahead. So we're in Iraq, and we went there with nothing. We didn't bring anything with us, mm-hmm. um, like as far as personal gear goes. All right. So we're in Iraq. We get to where we're going to be settled, and everybody's bored out of their mind because there's nothing to do because we're in a camp. There's no build. There's no like actual structures to do anything, and like no gym, no nothing. We our gym was in a bombed out hangar that we filled duffel bags with sand. And we'd use those for weights. Um, so we used to go out to the bazaar every every couple weeks. There's a bazaar in, in Mosul that we used to be able to go to. You'd be chaperoned there with like this is in Mosul, Iraq. Okay. So a bunch of a bunch of us in in my company decided, you know, we want to do something. We're gonna we're gonna set up something. So we all got together and went to the bazaar, and this guy at the bazaar was selling Xbox three Xbox the original Xboxes that were modded with like a hundred games on them. What? He was on them for like a hundred dollars a piece. So we all pulled money together and bought like ten of these things. And oh, we bought like we bought like a thousand yards of Cat Five cable. <laughs> we had a land party. Linked all these through our tents. <laughs> linked them all together, 
and ran a generator just to run the Xboxes and the and our TVs. Wow! So we had we had Halo LAN parties, and I'm telling you, I was a I was awesome on rockets, rockets, and uh, infinite rockets on Wizard. Wizard was my map. Yeah, just blow up people. But we started getting the the translators into it, like the Iraqi translators, mm-hmm. and um, so they started doing it. So then they set up this whole network thing in our camp. We had like power poles set up, and they ran wire and everything. So then all of the tents had internet access after that because they wanted to play. So they set all this stuff up. They built a little building. They had all these tables and stuff, and they put Xboxes and TVs in there, and they set them all up, linked them all together. So they built like a recreation center in the middle of this camp. Wow, dude, that sounds so epic, and I'd totally be part of that. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> about two months after they set it up, a mortar round landed right into right in the middle of it and blew it all to hell. Wow, they game blocked <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was that was that was my cool Xbox story was that we got locals to build things for us just so we could play games. That's hilarious. And the only game we ever played out of those thousands of games that were on these systems was Halo. You 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 (laughs) kind of wonder if that's something that happens today because like you'd almost have to right because there's no internet out there. Oh, there is internet out there. They it's been upgraded since I was in Iraq. I was in Iraq in '03 and we were setting up camps and stuff there. Now they have actual structures, they have internet, they have satellite. I mean, I've watched the NHL Stanley Cup in Iraq at 1 o'clock in the morning from the USO <laughs> to watch the uh, Lightning and the Flames in the Stanley Cup. Oh, yeah. Lightning, best team in the NHL. <laughs> I hate you. I know you do. <laughs> Just mad because I'm better that's than you. What, that's why they were a first-round swept exit. You know, the team isn't gonna win why do we have to get Chris started on the Capitals again? Why? I mean, they're not going to win a championship for another 40 plus years, so why does it matter? Well, we won one last year, so. Yeah, after well, enjoy it, because that's the last one of your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be telling your grandkids. The Golden Knights aren't any, anywhere close to a champion. Oh, Golden great. Knights are three years old. How many years older? Thank you, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. Oh, they can't be terrible. They have the best. They have one of the best goalies of all time in the net. Don't Chris doesn't like facts. Don't please don't bring up any facts. <laughs> <laughs> I do listen to facts. You listen to facts, listen, but you don't like them. But doesn't hear them. <laughs> See, you listen to Jimmy. You're not hearing Jimmy. Oh, that's a reference. No one's gonna get. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. It was White Men Can't Jump. Oh, gotcha. Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. (laughs) Old school. Josh wasn't even born. Nope. So you know what else I've been seeing a lot on Twitter is idiots in grocery stores. Oh, licking the ice cream? Well, not just that. Like, I've seen video of, like, some, you know, those, like, teas and, like, those jugs. Like I've seen yeah. videos of people opening those and oh, spitting yeah. in yeah, them. Yeah, and... yeah I, I've seen. Yeah, and, I saw the one where. And it's I... like, is it like, have we become that shitty of a society that we like want to like f we each live... other over and like get people sick and you know? Then you hear people... about the crypto pool yeah. bacteria yep. because people can't wipe their ass. Um, yeah. I mean, a guy in Vegas becoming... recently got arrested for that. He. uh he opened up the top to one of the mouthwash bottles, rinsed his oh. mouth, spit it back into the bottle, and, cl- and sealed it up. So now it's like to the point where you can't go to the grocery store and buy anything unless it has one of the uh, the aluminum seals on it. Right. Or, yeah. or somebody may have effed with it. And, and then you think, well, I'll just reach in the back. And, oh, well, the person's probably smart and thinks you'll reach in the back, so they'll put it in the back. Yep. Right. I mean, why can't people just not be Stop assholes? Being assholes? Is that too mm. much to ask people? I don't know. When assholes? I used to get care packages with stuff in it, I used to do weird things to it and then wait until somebody picked it up. Like my wife used to send me uh, cookies, like fresh baked cookies. Yeah. 
And uh-huh. as soon as I'd open that care package and pull those out, I would leave to go smoke a cigarette or something, come back, and they'd be gone. Oh, because one of your friends ate it? <laughs> so this is going to sound gross. And it's like 110 degrees all the time in Iraq. So, or Afghanistan, anyway. <laughs> so I'd get the care package. I'd get the Tupperware bowl that she'd have the cookies in. And I would rub an un- unmentionable part on the lid. <laughs> So anybody that grabbed that lid to open those cookies was touching that. <laughs> That's actually pretty epic. <laughs> That's, moment. That's all right. I got the idea from my squad leader. He used to do it with Coke cans. Wait, he, he, he'd rub yeah. his... He would go buy against... Coke, and he got tired of people stealing them, so he'd rub his nuts on them. My God. And put them in the fridge. And then if anybody came out there to grab them, they're grabbing them and putting their mouth on his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he openly told everybody in the shop he's like I rub my nuts on these if you touch them you're touching my nuts <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. and half of those always went missing and he had no idea where they went ew yeah so some people just you don't live in a society <laughs> I that, was, that was more yeah. keeping your own crap and that's in yeah. a controlled military environment imagine what it's like in the grocery store yeah, imagine what it's, it's like in the Florida Walmart being in the army is like being in a frat. <laughs> I just don't understand what the joy is in, in being a a douche to other people. You know, some I mean, people well, it's some not the people same. Just thing. have like, that I'm complex not, to them. Um, we I don't know if, we didn't do stuff you know, like that and then put it back on the your, shelf at a store. I'm not talking about your squad leader or any. I'm talking about the people who decide. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna lick. I'm gonna open these cookie, this cookie package, lick them, and put it back in. No, or, some people are just wired that way. They're anarchists. I mean, you know, uh, look for instance in cases of arson. You know, where people set houses or cars on fire, and the fire department also shows up. Think border controls an unethical thing too. So, and you know, thank God that they do do put the uh, aluminum seal on medicines. Because imagine what people would do. To other people with medicines, they'd like put like some sort of thing, Drug and death. people would die. Yep. So, yeah. So, but it's just—I mean, can we not be better people than to spit in somebody's effing ice cream? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Obviously not. You know what, though, all the ice cream I buy has that like clear. Um, yeah. The plastic protector. on it, yeah, the clear plastic protector on it. So I would know if it's opened. I just, right. I just won't buy any of those uh, cylindrical ones that don't have a seal. Yep. Yeah. Well, some of the, some of the, uh, the, the long, almost oval shaped ones that you're talking about. Yeah. Some yeah. don't have the um, clear plastic. So then you're taking a chance, but mm-hmm. it's. I just don't understand what the hell the point and like, and they ought to have a fake security camera or uh, even if it's fake, just to deter people from doing it. And like, you I'm know, telling maybe... you, we we if this keeps up, I think we are just moments away from having groceries and other merchandise pretty much everything sealed in one of those lock boxes where you have to call uh, a, an agent from the store to come by and open the cage up for you. Yeah. You know, that's what the whole store is going to be. It started with the Tide well, Pods. It, we saw what happens with that. They're, to this yeah. day, they're still locked up. Yeah. Not here. They're not. No. Well, it's like, I don't know. People are dumb. That's why people don't get vaccinated. Because people yeah. are dumb. Yep. That's yeah, why you have, it, like, the plague back back in california but yep. it's like one one hundred of one percent shits on the rest of us so now you can't buy now you can't buy allergy medicine without having to give your license and your birthday and your life history because some <laughs> yeah. asshole one like three assholes decided to make methamphetamines in their basement so yep. now everybody's punished in america because it all it takes chris is one idiot out of a hundred to screw up royally, and yep, all ninety nine are affected. And you know what? Yep. Bring back, bring back public stocks, and and let people throw tomatoes at their face on a hundred degree day. You know, I'm tired of assholes ruining our country. 
right. I'm right well, there there's always me. assholes ready to ruin the country. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And then you've heard of that crypto pool bacteria, haven't you? Where, like, Mm-mm. it comes from fecal matter. I mean, can you not wipe your ass? Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Where uh, people have been getting, like, worms and... Uh, all types of sicknesses in public pools because people go in having not wiped their bums properly. Um, you said bum. Or whatever, their rear ends. Um, I mean, I mean, do, do you not know that you wipe till the paper is, uh, is empty or clear? <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like we're Pretty a nation much. of five-year-olds now. Oh, it's funny. I spit in the ice cream. Is that, is that how that's supposed to work? You wipe it till it's clear? Um, <laughs> I, clean. I meant to say clean and I said clear. I knew what he meant. I did too. I was still asking. You're a jerk. <laughs> and that's coming from a jerk. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, during the hockey season last season, I saw like this guy I work with. He's a uh, He's a big, big Carolina fan. And he I came in one day wearing this red and black shirt with white letters on it that said the or a bunch of jerks are going to win the Stanley Cup or something like that. <laughs> That's and funny. I did some research. It turns out that since they were doing celebrations after the games, the one of the announcers had called them a, a bunch of jerks doing <laughs> celebrations. <laughs> so they just took it and ran with it. Yep. That's hilarious. So the Hurricanes are now the bunch of jerks. That's almost like back in 2016 where every Trump supporter was listed as a... uh, Deplorable. A deplorable, yeah. Well, that's a deplorable thing to say about a bunch of people. (laughs) Libtards. (laughs) I know, right? What do you think think about Joe Biden running against uh, Trump? (laughs) I saw that. I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, Trump might not get elected because Joe Biden might take a spot. No, I don't think it'll work out for Biden because people don't want a pedophile in there. (laughs) Why is he a pedophile? Have you seen the way he touches kids? (laughs) No, I don't don't watch Joe Biden because he's a non-issue for me. It's more entertaining to watch to watch Trump talk on Twitter. He touches kids inappropriately. And I'll leave it at that. Tom Brady, but... Well, Tom Brady French kissed his own son, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> That's gross. And, 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 you know, normally I would say kids are off limits in politics, but his son is such a shady character. I mean, he married his brother who died uh, um wife and if that's not I know that's nothing it's it's like borderline incest type thing because now yeah. your aunt is your stepmother and <laughs> I, I mean it's just it's just right. creepy I mean what the hell like what is this Florida <laughs> well alright you mean Alabama <laughs> I mean it's, it's <laughs> really <laughs> and I know it is but it's really not that much different than marrying your like cousin yeah I agree I agree I mean, it's just... And we live in interesting times, man. It doesn't matter where you stand on the issue. I think I think it's fair to say and agree that we are living in interesting times. But yep, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the podcast. Just a reminder, we are not doing one next week, um, but the week following, I believe that's going to be the 29th. Actually, it is the 29th, so... We will be recording again on the 29th. You probably won't get another podcast till the 3rd of August, which at that point, preseason football will have befallen. And we, we're going to be in, going and we'll be enjoying football <laughs> and we'll be able to talk more football on these podcasts. So with me, Sarge, Chris, <laughs> and Josh checking on out. Yo, hold up, hold up. Right, here we go. Two weeks in a row. What? <laughs> what? Um. That was my daughter singing her ABCs. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
That's awesome. <laughs> She's two years old and already that's, knows half of her alphabet. That's really good. I know people who are 30 and don't know half of them. <laughs> yeah, like Chris. That. Um, but like I said, this will do it for this I week's can edition. Say the alphabet back. Well, thank you. <laughs> this will do well, it for this week's edition of tests. the podcast. Thank you for joining us. We'll catch you in a couple weeks. This is me, Sarge, Chris, and Josh checking up on out. Have a good night. Go Steelers. <laughs> go, and go Ravens. Go, Damn go it, I Ravens. hate when you guys yeah. do this. <laughs>